Johnny Mathis was born John Royce Mathis on September 30th, 1935, in Gilmer, Texas, the fourth of seven children to Clem and Mildred Mathis. His family moved to San Francisco when he was still a child, settling in the Richmond district. Growing up in a musically inclined family, Mathis was introduced to a wide variety of musical styles from an early age. His father, Clem, who had dreams of becoming a professional singer, was instrumental in nurturing Johnny's early talent recognizing his son's potential and buying him his first piano. Johnny's musical education began at home, where his father taught him the basics of singing and playing the piano. His formal training, however, took off when he was spotted by a voice teacher, Connie Cox, at the age of 13. She offered him free lessons in exchange for household chores. Under Cox's tutelage, Mathis developed a robust technique, mastering classical and operatic singing styles, which would later underpin his versatile vocal performances. The Road to Fame, A Star is Born. Mathis's journey to fame began while he was a student at George Washington High School in San Francisco, where he excelled in athletics and music. He attended San Francisco State College on an athletic scholarship, aspiring to become an English and physical education teacher. However, fate had other plans. In 1955, Mathis was invited to perform at the Black Hawk Club in San Francisco. His performance caught the attention of club co-owner Helen Noga, who became his manager. Noga's connections in the music industry led to an audition with Columbia Records. The audition was a resounding success, and Mathis signed with the label, marking the beginning of his illustrious career. Mathis's first recordings were jazz-oriented, but it was his move towards romantic ballads that propelled him to stardom. His breakthrough came in 1956 with the release of Wonderful, Wonderful, and It's Not For Me To Say, which showcased his smooth, emotive voice and impeccable phrasing. The success of these singles was followed by Chances Are, which became his first number one hit and solidified his place in the pantheon of great American singers. Collaborations and Career Highlights, A Symphony of Success Throughout his career, Johnny Mathis worked with numerous legendary musicians, composers, and producers, which helped him to maintain his status as one of the premier vocalists of his time. His collaborations with arrangers like Ray Conniff and Percy Faith resulted in lush orchestral recordings that became his signature sound. One of Mathis's most notable collaborations was with producer and arranger Don Costa. Together, they produced several albums that were critically acclaimed and commercially successful, including Johnny's Greatest Hits, 1958, which is considered the first ever Greatest Hits album. This compilation spent an unprecedented 490 consecutive weeks, almost 10 years, on the Billboard Top 200 album chart, a record that still stands. Mathis also worked with other iconic artists and composers, such as Henry Mancini, Burt Bacharach, and Jerry Butler. His ability to interpret songs with deep emotional resonance made him a sought-after collaborator, and his duets with artists like Denise Williams, including the hit Too Much, Too Little, Too Late, showcased his versatility and enduring appeal. Personal Struggles and Resilience, The Man Behind the Music Behind the smooth voice and polished performances, Johnny Mathis faced his share of personal struggles. His early life in a racially segregated America posed challenges, but his family's support and his sheer talent helped him to overcome these obstacles. One of Mathis's significant personal challenges was his battle with substance abuse. During the 1960s and 1970s, he struggled with alcohol and prescription drug addiction, a common plight among many artists of the era. Mathis's openness about his struggles later in life highlighted his resilience and commitment to his health and career. He sought treatment and successfully overcame his addictions, emerging stronger and more focused on his music. Mathis also faced challenges related to his sexuality. In a 1982 interview with Us Magazine, he quietly came out as gay, a bold move at a time when homosexuality was still a taboo topic in the entertainment industry. While this revelation received mixed reactions, Mathis remained private about his personal life, choosing to let his music define his public persona. His courage in living authentically has since been recognized as pioneering, especially within the context of a conservative industry. Health Battles, Confronting Illness with Grace, in addition to his struggles with addiction, Johnny Mathis has faced various health issues over the years. In 2005, he underwent hip replacement surgery, which was necessary due to a long-term injury that affected his mobility. Despite the physical challenges, Mathis continued to perform. In 2013, 
Mathis underwent surgery to remove a benign mass from his vocal cords. This procedure was particularly daunting for a singer whose livelihood depended on his voice. However, Mathis approached the situation with the same grace and determination that characterized his career. He made a full recovery and returned to the stage, his voice as captivating as ever. Personal Struggles Behind the Curtain of Fame While Johnny Mathis's public persona has always exuded charm and grace, his life behind the scenes has been marked by various personal challenges and struggles. His journey through fame wasn't just glitter and glamour. It was also a path filled with emotional turmoil, health issues, and the constant battle for authenticity. Scandals and affairs, a quiet life in the public eye. Despite his status as a superstar, Johnny Mathis managed to maintain a relatively low profile when it came to scandals and affairs. He has always been known for his discretion and professionalism. However, the spotlight inevitably brought scrutiny. One of the most significant revelations came in 1982, when Mathis quietly came out as gay during an interview with Us Magazine. At a time when discussing one's sexuality was still considered highly controversial, especially for someone in the public eye, this revelation was groundbreaking. Mathis later reflected on this moment, explaining that he never intended to make a grand announcement, but felt it was important to be honest when asked. The interview caused a stir, leading to both support and backlash. For years, Mathis chose to keep his private life private, particularly his romantic relationships. This discretion led to much speculation, but Mathis remained steadfast in his decision to shield his personal life from public scrutiny. His approach was both a shield and a statement, emphasizing that his music, rather than his personal affairs, should define his legacy. Health struggles, battling addiction and illness. Throughout his life, Johnny Mathis faced significant health struggles, particularly with addiction. In the 1960s and 1970s, like many of his peers, Mathis battled alcohol and prescription drug addiction. The pressures of fame, the grueling demands of constant touring, and the often isolating experience of being a global superstar contributed to his struggles. Mathis later opened up about these challenging times, describing how his addiction affected both his personal and professional life. In the 1980s, Mathis decided to confront his addiction head on. He sought treatment and committed to a life of sobriety. This decision was a turning point, marking a period of renewal and resilience. Overcoming addiction was not just about reclaiming his health, but also about reaffirming his dedication to his craft. His recovery allowed him to continue performing and recording, demonstrating his unwavering commitment to his music and his fans. Beyond addiction, Mathis also faced other health issues, in 2005, he underwent hip replacement surgery due to a long-term injury. The surgery was a success, but it required significant rehabilitation. Despite these challenges, Mathis's passion for performing never waned. He continued to grace the stage with the same elegance and charm that had defined his career. In 2013, Mathis encountered another health scare when he had to undergo surgery to remove a benign mass from his vocal cords. For a singer whose voice is his most valuable asset, this was a particularly daunting experience. The surgery was delicate, and the recovery period required patience and care. However, Mathis emerged from this ordeal with his voice intact, much to the relief of his fans and the music community. His return to the stage post-surgery was a testament to his resilience and his undying love for singing. Struggles with fame, the price of stardom. Fame, while bringing adoration and success, also brought its own set of challenges for Johnny Mathis. The constant public scrutiny, the relentless demands of touring, and the pressure to consistently deliver hits took a toll on him. Mathis often spoke about the loneliness that accompanied his fame. Despite being surrounded by fans and industry professionals, he sometimes felt isolated. The pressure to maintain a flawless public image while dealing with personal issues created a dichotomy that was difficult to manage. In addition to these pressures, Mathis faced the challenge of staying relevant in an ever-changing music industry. The 1960s and 1970s saw significant shifts in musical tastes, with rock and roll and later disco dominating the charts. Mathis, known for his romantic ballads, had to navigate these changes while staying true to his style. His ability to adapt without compromising his musical integrity is a testament to his talent and dedication.